Good. How you doing, guys? This is P.D. Cunningham here at TKC, Woodland Hills, California. And I'm um, going to be demonstrating some basic kicks for you guys today and how we use them in kickboxing. The basic kicks from traditional martial arts. Uh, front ball kick, uh, roundhouse kick, and side kick. Now we're just going to work with the front ball kick. You're going to get some guard. And... Tip! And what? Well, give me give me a stomach first. Tip! Good. Tip! Good. Tip! Good. Now, straight to the chin. Tip! Good girl. Good. Tip! Good. And tip! Good. Now let's combine them, right? And belly. Face. Good girl. Good. Touch the tummy. And face. Good. And tummy. Face. Nice. Give me five. Good shot. Thank you, man. Uh, Kendra. No, don't leave the gloves on. Turn the gloves back. We don't need the gloves. Okay. Yeah, turn them back. Okay. Can you demonstrate with the right leg? The teeth, right? Good. From here, the knees, that'd be good. To the stomach, the teeth. Good girl. No, just the stomach. And okay. tummy, touch it. Good girl. And touch it. Good. And touch it. Good. Now, chin check. Good girl. Chin check. Nice. Chin check. Nice. Now combine them. Touch my tummy, reverse, right to the face. Tummy. Face. Good girl. And tummy. Upstairs. Good. And look at that. Upstairs. Good. And tummy. Upstairs. Give me five. Good show, sister. Eight. Okay. So what's the basic difference between a kickboxing front kick and a karate front kick? Is there a difference? Uh, yeah, a, a kickboxing front kick. Um, no disrespect for my traditional uh, background, a kickboxing front kick uh, is more dynamic, more flexible. Um, flexible in the sense of, of, of uh, how it's to be used in fighting. In, in, in martial arts, we're, to we're told to always extend the kick out there, hold it for a split second for, for, the, um, for the focus, you know what I'm saying? And the, and the dynamic tension behind the technique. In kickboxing, it has to be like a punch, if you like. It has to be like, like, a, like a nice viper-like strike. So you stick it in with all your hips, all your butt behind the technique, really digging it in there. A good teep, as the Thais call it, boom, to get him out, out there. Keep him off balance. You can even hurt him with a good teep. Um, be it to the solar plexus, you know, uh, the abdomen, or all up on the chin. Um, that, for me, is the difference, really. Now, Okay. No, that's good, Sensei. Yeah, yeah. So anything else about front kick you can think of? Um, okay, here's something I can tell you about a uh, uh, front ball kick. Especially use off the, uh, the forward leg. Be your southpaw, be your right leg. An orthodox fighter, your left leg. A jab. It's, it's basically a jab with your, um, with your legs. I'm saying he uses, it's used the same way, right, as a boxer would use his, his left jab to keep your bay, or his right jab, his softball, to keep your bay and to set his techniques up. The front ball kick, craftily used, can be used as a nice, nice, thick, strong jab. You know what I'm saying? And it's also the longest part of your body, those legs, right? To keep the, the opponent at bay and to set things up.